Dave, we are joined now by the Director of Elections, a man who has had a very long day. Daniel Baxter, thank you for your time, sir. Uh, 45 minutes since polls have closed. Where do things stand right now? What does turnout look like? Well, turnout right now is about 17 percent. We had about 11.5 percent of the population, the voting population, to go to the precincts on Election Day. And then we had about another 5.5 percent of the electorate to vote by absentee ballot. So when you add that up, that's about 17 percent. And that is what you guys have been predicting, really, for several days, if not weeks by now. Yep, yep. We, we anticipated 12 to 17 percent of the electorate to come out this so, year. So far, have you heard any indications that there were any problems uh, that, that any folks had when they tried to vote? Were there any uh, issues with any machines, any trouble uh, with their uh, write-in uh, ballots? Any, mm -hmm. any complaints so far? Nothing out of the ordinary in terms of uh, administering an election, an election of this magnitude in a city that has 484 voting precincts. Uh, nothing that uh, we needed to jump and shout about. You know, you always have your stark problems, uh, but we were able to overcome those and have all of our precincts open by 7 o'clock this morning. Now explain for us with the write-in ballots. At this mm -hmm. point, uh, tallies have already been made at the precinct level? What, what happens now? Well, right now at the precinct level, they're producing their totals tapes and getting those memory cards here to the Department of Elections so that we can begin to uplate, upload the traditional reports that we uh, produce on election night. Afterwards, then they'll start tallying all of the write-ins at all of the precincts, and that's a manual process that they have to follow uh, to make sure that every candidate, every valid write-in candidate receives their votes. Once they do that, then those... Um, optical scan statement of votes will be delivered here to the Department of Elections where that information will be uploaded into our write-in data file. Uh, once that's been done, uh, all 489 regular precincts and 125 absentee precincts, then that information will be forwarded over to the Wayne County Board of Canvassers. And then that's when the hard work comes in, where they're going to have to make a determination as to uh, the variations of names and trying to understand what the voters' intent was, and then ultimately who or what candidate will receive those particular write-in votes. And is there any indication right now at, at 850 how many write-in ballots have been cast? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you gotten any reports as to the, the uh, more than you expected, less than you expected, anything at all to go? No. Um, uh, we won't know anything until, well, every precinct knows how many write-in votes were cast. Uh, it's a decentralized voting system, meaning that it's the responsibility to every, of every precinct to produce their results. However, the result reporting is a centralized process where the memory cards will come here to the Department of Elections, and then we'll compile all of those results, and then you'll see all of the information uploaded on that screen behind us. And on that screen behind us, we don't see anything uploaded yet. Any idea when that will start to be updated? Probably in another 15, 20 minutes, the ball will start rolling. Okay. And how late do you think we'll be here, uh, you guys will be here tallying these votes tonight? To get 100% of the returns, that's the regular precincts, absentee precincts, the standard uh, report, as well as write-ins, probably about 1 o'clock. All right, sir. Well, I appreciate your time. No uh, problem. After this, of course, it goes to the Board of Canvassers. All of the um, write-in ballots that are not very clear as to who a voter was trying to vote for, that will go to the Board of Canvassers, and that process will take about two weeks before those votes are finally counted. We are live at the Department of Elections. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Hey, Ross, this is Chuck. Can you still hear me? Yeah, you can. Ross, I'm, I, I'm I can't curious. hear you, Chuck, yeah. I'm curious. I know that by law they have two weeks uh, for the Board of Canvassers to be able to do what they have to do. Uh, worst case scenario, stay for some reason, uh, legal challenges, etc. They cannot get this done in two weeks' time. Is there anything that uh, Mr. Baxter knows of within the law to be able to take it past that, those two weeks? Well, that's a very good question. Let me ask him. Uh, Chuck Stokes uh, just asked me, two weeks the Board of Canvassers has by law to get mm -hmm. this figured out. If for some reason there are legal challenges, whatever, that it goes beyond two weeks, is there any way that they can extend that two-week time frame? Do you no, know? No, the law is very clear. Uh, it's 14 days. Uh, if they're not able to certify, then it'll be the responsibility of the state. Uh, board of canvassers to certify the election returns. But it was a light and low turnout, uh, which means that it's not much to muddle through. Uh, and I think that I'm very confident that the Wayne County Board of Canvassers will be able to get the job done. So 14 days seems like plenty of time for... It's plenty of time, absolutely.
All right. Any other questions, Chuck, or the rest of the panel? No, I'm, I'm good. We're good. <laughs> oh, good we'll, let, we'll let him get back to work. I know he's got a big job to do there. Thank you, Ross. Thank Ross you. Ross Jones at the uh, Department of uh, in Detroit. Uh